I mean, the cruiserweights are almost completely forgotten, oh, yeah. uh, you know, in the WWE. I mean, it, they got so much great talent, and I think what we've proven is is that AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels can headline right. a pay-per-view. Right. Oh. They're afraid to take that chance. I mean, you know, our guys are so good. I mean, that you know, another match that I remember, even even though the belt fell twice, which actually kind of gave it to it to Lord, was the original Ultimate X. I mean, yeah. that was just something nobody's seen before. Mm -hmm. I noticed that they, they had a lot of those. They seem to be every month at some point. But now they're taking a, a call off here from the Ultimate X match, maybe to get a little more. So all people want to see it when again. It comes back. Well, you can ruin anything by doing it too much. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you know, uh, you really can. And and the beauty of it is, is when we get to Spike TV, and we get there's going to be an audience that you know. Right. We've been doing it for three and a half years, and it's hard to believe it. But there's going to be probably a hundred thousand people watching that first show that have never even seen or heard of us mm -hmm. and you know so the ultimate X will be new to them you know uh, um, but I like the fact that they've not beat it in the ground here lately and uh, when we bring it up again it'll be special because it always is you mentioned earlier that you uh, read the internet and pretty much oh, yeah. since you guys started everybody on the internet have been saying you know TNA is almost done it's only got a couple months left now, you, like you said, you've been around for three and a half years. Um, what do you What do you feel about the people who just write that all the time? They're so negative about everything. You know, it's funny. I, when I used to read it three years ago, I would take a lot of it to heart. And, and and three and a half years later, I still read it and still get on message boards and read what people have to say. And you know what? It's the same people t today that were saying the same thing three years ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> there, it, it, it's just some people. If they're not cutting you down, they don't have anything to say. Yeah. And, you know, there, it, to me, it's like if you're that miserable, then why are you watching every right, show? Right. I, that's what <laughs> you I know? It, it, they're, they're, they're just miserable, unhappy people all the time. I mean, I can understand when something's bad, you got to say it's bad. I mean, right. i got no problem with that. But don't act like we've never done a good thing in our entire three and a half years. Right. They're exactly like you said. Why, why do you keep watching the show? You know, it, do you? I mean, I have the funniest thing when I listen to even some of these guys that write things, and and you know you've seen a good show. The crowd went nuts, and yet they'll write it like. And I'm thinking, what match were they watching? <laughs> and and then I'm thinking to myself, if if you don't enjoy this, why are you doing it? Exactly. You know, why are you writing about it if you don't enjoy it? Mm -hmm. But they just decide they don't like somebody, so. You know, if they don't like Jeff Garrett, then everything Jeff Garrett's in, they don't like. If they don't like AJ Styles and everything AJ's in, they don't like. And it's just like, oh, man, grow up. <laughs> you say uh, one of the highlights of the of the early TNA stuff was your first uh, hard sell. What was uh, the reaction from the boys like uh, the first time you did the hard sell? Uh, it got over great. In fact, I remember um, Alex Marvez writing... The next day, I read an article he wrote. He thought it was one of the best things he'd ever seen in wrestling. Uh -huh. You know, it's just... Uh, but what was funny was Vince Russo actually came up with that. We were sitting there in the back, and and, and we were talking about something, and I started doing an imitation of, of, of selling one of my ball cards or something. Uh -huh. I forget what was going on. And Vince goes, you know what? we got to put the camera on you, and you got to, you got a hard sell next, next week's show. And he goes, I want you to pop a gasket, man. <laughs> and from the moment we did it, I never forget. Jerry Jarrett came back to me and was like, "This is going to become part of the show." It's you know, <laughs> and we're actually talking now about in the pre-shows, maybe going back into the crowd and stuff again. Yeah. And and instead of me bouncing off of somebody, maybe just going in there by myself right before the right before the pay-per-view kicks off, and, and you know, <laughs> and and see if I can blow my head up. <laughs> Well, the problem is, is it's exhausting. <laughs> uh, what did you think when you used to see the skits about you on Saturday Night Live? Oh, that, that was the greatest honor. And not just to be imitated, but to have Will Ferrell, who's one of my favorites anyway. Yeah. To have Will Ferrell come out and say, hi, I'm Don West uh -huh. of Shop at Home. And <laughs> boom. And then imitate me. And actually, both guys were imitating me because my partner was real, real quiet and yeah, laid back. He was like so. a straight man. Yeah, and both of those are actually doing me. They just, uh, you know, what Will Ferrell told me was he couldn't keep it up all by himself, so they figured, well, we'll just have both of us do you. That way we could continually keep it going because they couldn't figure out how I could go for six hours straight like that. 
Well, he should thank you. That helped his career. Yeah. That was the key. <laughs> that was him making $25 million a right. movie. Like, oh, man, look at that Don West impression. And that bastard's not sharing any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Any question, Barbie? Absolutely. One of our fans, Extreme Falls, wants to know if you missed the, way, the uh, weekly pay-per-view format. Uh, do I miss it? Mm-hmm. Um, no. I, I, I mean, it, it was a novel concept, but I think it's better to build. I really do. The thing, when you're doing it weekly, every week has got to be a main event. And, and you don't really, you know, you're basically making people pay to build the stories along to another pay-per-view. So I like the format now. I mean, I think it's, it's, it was a wise move to go to it, and uh, I don't think anybody would, would argue that, being able to, uh, you got to take some time to, to, to build the feuds so that when it's time for the pay-per-view, you, you know, it's the payoff's coming. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. It might not be good for a couple of characters who don't get as much time on the microphone as they used to, but for the company on a whole, it's really a step forward that you couldn't have taken on the pay-per-view. You're right. You're dead on. Mm -hmm. I mean, you hate that some people, you know, lose a little extra time that they got because we did two hours four times a week, and now it's, you know, three, three and a half, one time, I mean, a, a month. But uh, uh, so there's always going to be somebody that doesn't get the right amount of time. But it's in the, in the long run, I think it's a better formula. What is your favorite part of the TNA backstage catering? What is my favorite part of the backstage what? Catering. Catering. <sighs> Boy, there has it now. Oh, ah, there's. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of the backstage catering. Uh, I'll tell you what. Tell him we need some of that sauce that he gets from Buffalo. Spice things up back there. Oh, um, oh she set us up for a fall. <laughs> uh, he's trying to sabotage uh, I, it. I, 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 they have the, the sausage and peppers. is probably about the best meal they got. It's, basically, you can depend on chicken every time. <laughs> Don West is tired of the chicken. Tired of the chicken, man. <laughs> you gotta take a walk down to the theme park and get yourself some candy bars. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, believe it or not, I, I find myself going up there to uh, uh, River Walk or whatever it is, uh, City Walk or whatever it is, and, and getting a big old Wendy's or something. I mean, it's just, <laughs> you know. That's a favorite of our uh, co-host here, when it's biceps. Oh, yeah. I, I, like, I, I love Wendy's. Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's is good. <laughs> we gotta get he some of the... speaks. Yeah, he speaks on occasion. <laughs> Every now and then, you know. <laughs> He's a little intimidated by Don West. Oh, oh I am. yeah, right. <laughs> I actually called up uh, Get in the Ring uh, and asked you a question, and it was probably one of the most awkward times I ever spoke of. <laughs> Why? What was the question? It, I, I asked you something about uh, Juventud Guerrero and Jerry Lynn when uh, Juventud. Uh, Messed up the move or whatever. <laughs> See, I, I could, I could, um, hmm. It was, um, when, it was, it was the match when, uh, Jerry Lynn hurt his shoulder. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. I remember well. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, Jerry, uh, yeah, Jerry does not send Hoover to Glare Christmas cards. Let me put it to you that way. <laughs> mm -mm, not a fan. Should have not have brought that one back up. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, that was a brutal. When you watch it again, we met, I mean, yeah, they replayed on the last pay-per-view. Because <laughs> uh, Lynn came back in the last pay-per-view for Swalman, which is really good. And, they, and they you know what? That was a great that was a great match. Yeah. I hope they say continue that on a little bit more. Even I mean that was, and that turn when I mean Sean went from being a heel to when he was praising him at the end to being a huge baby face, and then bam, what a heel yeah, turn again. Yeah, yeah, I love that part. Yeah. A lot of people, you know, say bad stuff about Waltman, but since he's come back, I think he's been uh, really good. Oh yeah, he can be as good as he wants to be. Mm -hmm. There's so many guys like that. Yeah. And when he, when, I mean, he he's turned it on. He's had four great matches in a row. Yeah. 